Hello Internet, welcome to the second installment of studying transient response of passive circuits. In today's tutorial, we'll see transient response of RC circuit having DC excitation, of course. Now, I highly recommend that you watch uh, my previous video where I discussed transient response of RL circuit with DC excitation because in that tutorial I discuss about the effect of DC voltage on the um, passive circuits. Now in this circuit where we have a DC voltage source connected to R and C in series, uh, we'll eventually say that uh, no current will flow in this circuit after a certain amount of time. Or we can also say that um, for DC capacitor is going to offer infinite reactance so XC will be infinite for a capacitor because XC is of course 1 by 2 pi FC and when F for DC is 0 it is going to offer infinite reactance and no current will flow in the circuit once the capacitor starts to function in its full form but that's not the case uh, when we turn this switch on uh, we turn this we turn this switch on at time t is equivalent to zero and it takes some time for this circuit to reach an equilibrium state or a steady state where the current will be zero, where the capacitor will perform uh, in its usual intended way. And that small amount of time, that little amount of time which is required to reach this circuit to its steady state is known as the transient time or the time taken by the circuit to, to adjust itself or accommodate itself. Uh, all right so that being said we'll we'll study the mathematics of this circuit now we can write down from the kirchhoff's voltage law that the voltage across uh, each of these elements and of course the voltage source together will will form up this equation this is pretty simple and differentiation of this equation will result in R D I by D T plus I by C is equal to zero. Now this is a homogeneous differential equation whose solution will contain only I C and there will be no particular solution for this homogeneous equation why because uh, the steady state value of the current for this circuit is zero and if you if you see my previous video where we discuss rl circuit the particular solution of that <coughs> that equation came out to be the steady state current which used to be um, v by r so here in this case because of the virtue of capacitor in place this will go away this will become zero so what are, what we left with is IC only and IC uh, will be equivalent to K e raised to the power minus T by RC this is the solution for the uh, the part that is left out in this at now at time t is equivalent to zero we know that at time t is equivalent to zero when there is no charge at capacitor so it was it was a sudden impact for for the current to flow in the circuit for a capacitor so at time t is equivalent to zero my current was or I can say the current at zero plus time is equivalent to V by R eventually it starts to decrease 
as soon as the capacitor realizes that some amount of charge is being built upon um, its plates and a DC is connected to it, it, it starts to formulate an equal and opposite amount of voltage um, across its plate so as to block the entire current. The reason why no current flows in a DC circuit having a capacitor is that an equal amount of V gets developed here at the capacitor because of which um, a, there is a tug of war between um, between this voltage source and the voltage being developed at the capacitor that results in no flow of current um, eventually but uh, for the time being we can say that initially the current was V by R and at this uh, juncture of time I'd like to uh, mention this very special property of uh, capacitor and that special property of capacitor is that it supports current jumps and it does not support voltage jumps in other words the voltage will develop across capacitor uh, gradually here you can see the curve of the voltage being developed but the capacitor is going to uh, support current jump it will start with the current uh, V by R at time t is equivalent to zero so in other words if we were to draw the profile of current in RC uh, charging circuit that will be something like this you know the current will be maximum V by R uh, this is the maximum current V by R at time t is equal to zero and it eventually starts to decrease as capacitor um, comes into play its part but um, by substituting this value here uh, we can simply say that uh, K becomes equivalent to V by R at time t is equal to zero. By putting t is equal to zero here, we get uh, V by R. And finally, we obtain the value of steady state current, or I'm sorry, the instantaneous current to be equal to V by R e raised to a minus t divided by RC ampere and this is super important to understand very very important thing and if we were to calculate the voltage across resistor we would say it will I it is I into R we can calculate the voltage at re across resistor at any instant of time by multiplying it with the instantaneous current so this becomes VE and the voltage across capacitor is equivalent to 1 by C I T T and from time T 0 to T we get V by R e is to minus T by R C D T or equivalent to V Now observing these equations, uh, we know that Vr is a decaying function. This is a decaying exponential and this is a rising exponential function. So if we were to draw the profiles of Vr and Vc in RC charging circuits, that will be like this. This is the charge Vr and this is the charge You can see the voltage is, uh, is, is 
dropping across resistor because finally the voltage across resistor will become zero because no current is flowing. Uh, but that will happen at, at infinite time and the voltage across capacitor is increasing and its its final value will be equivalent to voltage uh, external voltage which is connected so that it reaches to a point where it will start acting like an open circuit which is the basic behavior of capacitor for any DC uh, voltage source so capacitor will surely act as as an open circuit in DC but uh, before it does that, it needs some time, it needs this time, uh, this quick uh, flash of time where it, it becomes almost equal, equivalent to the voltage connected externally. And this is known as the transient time and the rest of the time is known as the steady state uh, time of the RC circuit. And again, uh, it is very important to understand that uh, the the capacitor will will rise to its 67 percent of its value very very quickly and that that is known as the time constant of the capacitor and we can surely find it by substituting time t is equivalent to 1 by RC and when you do that uh, you will get the time constant value for capaci uh, capacitor 1 by RC becomes the time constant of of the RC circuit with the DC excitation so very few things to remember the the value of the instantaneous current, the, vo the value of voltage across resistance and the value of voltage across capacitor at any instant of time and finally the time constant and with these set of um, things you'll be able to do any numerical with ease and a little bit of uh, understanding makes it uh, further easier and I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you liked the tutorial, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. You have a good day ahead. Bye.